God has ordained a place right here in Columbus, Ohio, 2665 Lockhorn Road, Temple of Compassion for healings and miracles as you sit listening to God's Word. It may be you given a miracle. Now cometh the hour when the Lord said, Arise, my daughter, carry my spirit and power to the nation. Preach my word. You were born for this cause, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Evangelist Patricia Turner. you preach it seemed like the works of Paul and these words came unto me he said if I did not come unto you in the demonstration of man's worldly wisdom he said but I came unto you in the demonstration of the Holy Ghost and the power mm -hmm. so that your faith may not stand in the words of man's wisdom but in the power of God mm -hmm. but I speak wisdom among them that are perfect mm -hmm. yet not the wisdom of this world neither of the princes of this world which come to not. But I speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the founders of the world, which none of the princes of the world had known. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Amen. For as it is written, that eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard, nor yet have entered into the hearts of men the things that prepared it to them that love him. God has got a great ministry prepared for you, this is only the beginning. Those things that Dwight said earlier is going to come to pass. You will, you will be able to speak before great men, great souls, great men, men of renown, princes, kings will be saved because of this ministry. And I agree with what Rashad was saying about Billy Graham. And I saw great men listening to the ministry. Men were being saved out of this ministry. Demons was being cast out. All manner of diseases was being healed. And you know, I, I kept thinking, I said, Lord, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. And I thank you for God. You know, I thank God for putting the Holy Spirit in you and that these works are being manifested. There's no other ministry today. None is greater than this ministry. Oh, and I say this today because the, man, the Holy Ghost is manifested in you. It is manifested in these works which God is doing in these last days. I have not seen in other, other ministries yet the things that God has done in this ministry. We have been healed. God has cast some demons out of some of us. He has delivered us from all types of infirmities. Some of us go through trials and tribulation. Say step back three steps. One, two, and three. I give him room to come in. I believe in demonstration of the Holy Spirit. For he's big and he's wise, he's great, and mighty and tall. I believe. In God. I believe in the Son. And I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe you are a part of Him. And I believe the heavens come down. And I believe that He is who He is. I believe God has given you already victory in your soul. I believe the lame shall walk, the deaf shall hear, and the blind shall see. I believe 
that this stage is waiting for you. I believe there are people who God wants to touch. And I believe all that do come to him will be saved. I believe in the man who preaches his own word. I believe the word is God. And God is his word. No one knows it like him. So all should move back and let the master speak his word. For he's the author and finisher of our faith. But he is the man who stands behind his word. He is the man who gives life everlasting. And he's the man, who touched you and gave you the victory over that which will come up against you, that there may be words of wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the future and the prophets shall prophesy and men shall see all that God is speaking. For God is with you. For many shall see salvation right before their eyes. To turn it away from sin and rejoicing in the Holy Ghost. Many shall know that God has sent and God will perform. He's a man of honor, dignity, highly intelligent is God. He's great and he's above all and above all he stands. He's so mighty in his works, great in his power. He's a God above all gods and he is a king of kings. And above all men shall he be glorified. The works belongs to God. Salvation belongs to God. Miracles and healings come by the word. He is your all. Your all and all. He's a master of this whole universe who can tell him what to do, which raise your hands. What a mighty, mighty God. This morning I got out of my car and the clouds were rushing all by themselves. And I told those that were with me, look up. Look at the clouds. I wish everyone would see what we have seen. The clouds kept moving and I said, Jesus, he's coming. He's coming in a cloud. But this cloud, those clouds, the many clouds, was going on before him, telling the world if they were in the spirit could see. The darkness, he, the Bible said he hides himself in the darkness. Mm -hmm. If we could only see the man is pointing, he's coming back. Yes. Hallelujah. To all those that believe, stand up on your feet. And to all that believe, bow your heads. And all that believe, just say within your heart, you are my God. You are my God. My everlasting peace. The Prince of Peace. The host of Peace. The joy of my salvation. Thou art God the everlasting Father, the hope of glory, thou art mine, my God, in whom I trust and in whom I believe. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
In the 11th chapter of Acts, the Lord picked this out. Over my Bible. And it read the 11th chapter, and the apostles and the brethren that were in Judea, they had heard that the Gentiles had received the word of God. And when Peter was come up to Jerusalem, that they were in the circumcision contend with him. They said unto him, Thy went is into men uncircumcised, and did he eat with them. But Peter rehearsed the matter from the beginning and expound it by order unto them, by order unto them. Mm -hmm. He said, I was in the city of Joppa. I was praying in a trance. I like that. Mm -hmm. How many of you pray and God take over your mind? Amen. Mm -hmm. And you began to see visions. Amen. Glory be to God. He said, I saw a vision. A certain vessel descend as it had been a great sheet. Let down from heaven by four corners, and it came even to me. Whoa. Mm -hmm. He saw the sheet. It was coming down right before his face. Upon the which when I had fastened my eyes. He said, I considered and saw four footed beasts of the earth. And with beasts and creeping things and fowls of the air. Now that's something to see. If it was you, you've been in a trance to see these things. I wonder how you would have felt and what you would have thought. But Peter said, and I heard a voice saying to me, arise, Peter, slay and eat. Excuse me. He said, but I said, not so, Lord. Let nothing common or unclean had at any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven. These things he saw, and it came from heaven. Mm -hmm. What God has cleansed, that call thou not common. Mm -hmm. What God has cleansed, call not that common. Mm -hmm. If he cleansed you, if you've been cleansed, mm -hmm. you're not common. You're not common if God has cleansed you and made you whole. Yes, right. You're not common because the hand of God, the hand of God, the anointing of God has touched you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this was done three times. And all were, th were drawn up again into heaven. Three times that happened. <laughs> And all was thrown up to heaven. And behold, immediately, there were three men already come into the house where I was sent from Syria unto me. God, God was sure a sign. Mm -hmm. yes. I feel that. Mm -hmm. God was sure a sign. Yes. He didn't see that for him, just nothing. God chose three men to be there. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. See, when you see a vision, and God meant it to be from heaven, that you may know that he's involved in it. Mm -hmm. He's going to see. You see a witness. Yeah. There's going to be a witness according to God's word. Yeah. Am I not right? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the Spirit, verse 12, and the Spirit bade me go with them. Nothing doubting. Don't you doubt nothing. Amen. Don't doubt anything. Your vision. Your visions. Hallelujah. How many have visions in here? Amen. Come, come on. Do you have visions? Yes, yes. Do you 
reach out your visions. I don't see many hands, neither do I hear many voices. But anyway, he said, doubting nothing. Moreover, there are six brethren accompanied me. Oh, six now. And we enter into the man's house. He didn't doubt anything. First, the Lord showed him the visions. And you know, when he do show your vision, you've got to believe first in God and then in yourself. Amen. When you believe God, then automatically you will obey. The Bible said, and he showed us how he had seen an angel. This is the man. This is the man on the other side have seen what he has seen. He's seen an angel in his house. Glory be to God. See, God works both ways. He works on both ends. Amen. If he's sending there, there'll be somebody waiting for you. Ooh. He saw an angel in the house which stood and said to him, send me into Joppa and call for Simon, whose name is Peter. See, God knows you. Amen. Amen. He knows you. Amen. And he knows who he wants to send. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. He said, who shall tell thee words whereby thou and all the house shall be saved? Lord, have mercy. God won't send you in vain. Amen. He's not sending you out to have a party. All right. all He's right. sending men now for the word of God. Amen. 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 And when the word comes, glory be to God, I'm telling you, it's going to be a great revival. Yes. Am I not right? Wherever the word is speak or spoke, or spoken, the word of God brings a revival. Yes. It don't have to mean the whole church, but it's in individuals' hearts. Yes. If your heart receives, not your ears, but your heart, if your heart receives, you will have a revival all by yourself, sitting in your seat all by yourself. Men may not understand what's wrong with you, but the word of God has reached your heart, and that's salvation right there. When God pulls his switch, glory be to God, your electricity, the power of God, you won't feel something. You won't be able to contain yourself. You gotta do something because that power is too strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who shall tell thee words whereby thou and thy house shall be saved? Peter said, No, this is the other man. He said, And as I begin to speak, he said, This is Peter, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the Holy One, the Holy Power. Hallelujah. The Bible said, Don't add, don't take away, but let me take. There's so much in God that you have to bring it out. Amen. Hallelujah. Some don't see it one way, they see it another way. Right. The Holy Spirit fell on them and as on us the beginning. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit fell on them, the Gentiles, the uncircumcised. Mm -hmm. Fell on them, he said, just like it did on us. Amen. On us mean they that God had picked and chosen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. See? There are a people that God has waiting, so I hear, that's waiting for the word of God, yes, waiting to turn them around. Glory so be even in these last mean, mean, ugly days. Mm -hmm. These are the days, these are the days that he spoke of. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But these are the days also he spoke of. Mm -hmm. In the last day, I'm going to pour my spirit out upon yeah. all flesh. Yes, we have of victory already. Yes. But yet and still, these are the days of the trials and the tribulation. These are the days that Satan had taken over and built his kingdom. But I believe the spirit of the Lord is greater yes. than anything in this world. And he's going to conquer up and over on top of all those things that man has brought, they have built against God. And anything that is against God is not for God. So you will be have the power Hallelujah, to knock it down because you shall be conqueror in him that loved him. Glory yes. be to God. You yes. see, I tell you these words. Whereby thou and thy house shall 
be saved. Peter mm -hmm. said that. Mm -hmm. Who should tell thee where is what about the house should be saved? And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell on them, and as on the beginning. He said, Then remember I, I remember the word of the Lord, how that he said, John, glory be to God. Peter reached back, mm -hmm. talking about John. <laughs> John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized. He was telling the household, you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. You shall be baptized. And if God send you out to speak his word, many miracles going to happen. People has got to be changed because God is going to follow his word. If you speak and if you testify, no matter where you are, you tell somebody about Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And let them know you are from the Lord. Yeah. Let them know where you come from. Where do you come from? I come from the Lord. God sent you. Yeah. You're like shouting up here. Because you're living in the last days. Yeah. And the people are going to be baptized. Hallelujah. Just like John's baptism with the Holy Ghost. He said, for as much then as God gave them the like gift, like gift, talking about Jesus, mm -hmm. as he did also us who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. What was I that I could withstand God? I can't withstand him. I have to do what he tells me to do. I don't care what anybody say. Even you, my brothers, I have to do what God tells me to do. Because God is the head of my life. God is the head of the church. God is the head of all these nations of people. God is the head. And when they heard these things, these are they that were with Peter. When they heard these things, they held that peace. The Peter's brethren, the disciples, the apostles. They heard these things, and they glorified God. You see, a lot of times, when people hear of somebody being saved, they want to judge them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want to judge them. Mm -hmm. But the Lord said, don't you call them common, because I've cleansed them. Mm -hmm. Don't you say anything against them, because I am the Lord, that God, who healed them. Yes. Yes. Don't touch them, because I am God, who justifies. God is God that justifies. Mm -hmm. He knows what he's doing. He knows what everybody in this whole world was born for. Mm -hmm. He knows Satan just catches them. But God comes along and delivers them. Yes, Am I not right about yes. it? He'll come along and he'll deliver. He'll come along and he'll save them. He'll come along. Don't call them common no more because they're not common people. Amen. Anybody belong to the Lord is not common. Am I not right about that? Amen. You're not common. Hallelujah. You just as cleansed as anybody else. Amen. You've been made whole just like anybody else. Amen. Am I not right? God don't judge you by your outward appearance. He judge you by the heart. If your heart is right, God will fix it for you. Yes, he will. The Bible heard, see, when they heard these things, they held that peace. You know, anyone who knows Jesus, will hold that peace. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare touch nothing. I say this because out there, maybe you all know in here, don't you dare touch God's anointing. Don't you dare. Unless you speak some good. If you don't know that, if you don't know them, don't say nothing. It, because the sheep was pulled down, burnt down by God. Mm -hmm. God did it. And if it was that bad, why did God let the sheep down? He's trying to tell the world. I don't care what they did. I'm able to cleanse. His life. Jesus' life cleansed every man that came to him. Jesus, not I, nor you, nor anybody else. Jesus. Jesus. Tell yourself Jesus. Jesus. See, when you call his name, he'll first change you. We are the one need changing first. <laughs> And judge not, 
then you be judged. Hallelujah. Don't say anything because God is the justifier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why wars and rumors of wars is going on out there right now. Because men are judging one another. They can't get along with one another. Mm -hmm. Satan comes in and he jumps right in with them. Mm -hmm. And he who has the most words to say, yeah, glory be to God, Satan come along and help you to finish it out. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, there is a God right now saying, leave it alone because I am, I am your battle axe. Yes. I am your warrior. Yes. I will destroy. Mm -hmm. I will fight for you. Yes. I will finish it for you. I am the Lord God Almighty who has power. I am God who said these things. I am the Lord that wrote the book. I am author of my book. I'm the author of my word. Whatever I said, vengeance is mine. I will repay, said the Lord. Didn't he say it? 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 I would say when they heard these things, they held our peace. And these were they that God had chosen the apostles. And they had knowledge and wisdom of God. But they walked with Jesus. And when they heard the good news, they held our peace. They stood back. It's a good thing to know when people get saved. Woo, hallelujah. Somebody done brought them out the fire. Yes. Huh? The everlasting fire. Somebody don't know about hell. Somebody don't know about the pit. And they glorify God. Then God also else the Gentiles together and said repentance. They repented until life. If you can get somebody to the altar, You've done a heavy day job. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Because first of all, you got to fight all them demons in them. Yes, come, come on. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got a war going on. Because them demons will come out and start talking to you. Amen. That's the first thing they do. Who are you? They're going to ask you, who are you? Who sent you? You know, if you're not acquainted with God, by the Spirit, in the Spirit, yeah. you're going to have a war with Satan because Satan oh. uh, has built his kingdom everywhere. Yes. Come on. He's not after his own. He got them. Mm -hmm. And they who have lost their faith and went on over on his side, mm -hmm. they have turned against God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, there's greater that's coming. The more they fight, the more power God gives right. to you. Come, come on. You're going to have more power than you had before you stepped out. Because God knows what you're going to face. Yes, right. yes, Am I not right about it? Yes, huh? Amen. It's not time for the white horse to come yet. You all got to earn your place behind him who's on the white horse. Yes, you got to earn that place. You got to know who you're going to be behind. I'm going to be behind Jesus riding on the white horse. Well, I tell you what, you're not going to ride behind him and have him repented. Amen. We all have got to repent. Amen. I want to be one of those disciples that shut my mouth. Because I know better. When God cleans, hallelujah, he makes whole. I feel the Holy Spirit. God's got a people out there. God's got somebody out there. They're listening and waiting and watching, even for that sheet to come down, yes, so they can grab a hold to God's unchanging hands. Yes, come on, yes, hold on to His hand, God's unchanging hand. Build your hope on things eternal, yes, eternal. Hold to His hand. Yes, God wants to lift you up, but when you hold to His hand, He can grab a hold and pull you up out of the pit of hell. Yes. And turn you around and make your path straight. He can fix it where can't nobody say nothing about you. But they will praise God. Hallelujah. A change has come. A one 
wonderful change has come. A glorious change has come. A mighty change has come. Hallelujah. Look at you now. You are not the same person you used to be. Nobody sitting in this room is just same old, same old. You have changed somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Some of it changed from stealing. Come on. Am I not right? Some people have changed from you yipping too much. They don't yip no more. See, you change. Something has got to change when you get in the presence of God. Huh? Something inside you has got to change. You don't think the same way no more. You don't walk the same walk. You don't go in the bars no more. You don't drink your liquor and your wine and not anything to make you drunk. You're drinking water, fresh water, holy water. You're drinking from the fountain that never runs dry. So come on. There's lots of people that need to be saved just like you and I. Come on. When you go out of here, when you see somebody, Smile at them. Mm -hmm. Don't wink your eyes. Smile at them. Yes. Oh, you got too many winkers now. Uh, winkers and blinkers. Uh, Meet me around the corner. Uh, you don't need that. Uh, uh, you show them your strength in your face. Yes, sir. Let your face come out. Let the face of God come out of you. Come now. No time for that. Lord. Come on, my right. Amen. The Bible said in 19, now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen's. Mm -hmm. The persecution came by the time of Stephen's. Mm -hmm. Travail as far as Venus and Christ, Christ Chrysler, and Antioch, mm -hmm. preaching the word hmm, to none but unto the Jews only. See, they went about Stephen's preaching to the Jews on it. But some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which when they came to Antioch, they spake unto the Grecians, preaching, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Preaching, Lord Jesus. Yes. Lord Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. That's what you got to go out there with a loud mouth now. See, let, let, let everybody know what you got first. Don't be talking about somebody you don't know who you're talking about. Amen. Talk what you know. Testify the things that you see. Amen. And the hand of the Lord was with them. And a great number believed and turned. A great number of them <coughs> believed and turned to the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what we've been waiting for. Mm -hmm. Quickened by the word of God. That's right. mm -hmm. Quickened by the sword. If we can get past the sword, we got it made. Amen. Because that sword is going to cut and cut and divide and fix and then turn around and heal. Yes, but we all got to go through the operation of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Word of God is powerful, sharper than any yes. to a sword. Yes, if you can get past that sword, you know you're saved. Amen. Come on, people. Amen. I know that. Right. You know you're saved. I'm talking about being saved now. Being genuinely saved from the wrath to come. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned unto the Lord. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church. So the church heard about it. Ooh, Lord have mercy. The church heard about it. Isn't that something? Great works was going on out there, but the church heard about it. Mm. Which was in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas, and he shall go as far as Antioch. God had these powerful men out there working. Mm -hmm. God needs some powerful men of truth out there now. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. That they are going to bring in power to the church. Ooh, hallelujah. I feel like rejoicing up here. Mm -hmm. God is moving in the land. The same yesterday, today, and forever. 
Show what you got. Don't be walking proudly, but walk in the spirit. You will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Speaking of the eyes and things you so desire, let it go and let God have his way. Let God have his way because we are the end time now and we are the people to have saved souls. Repentance is the greatest thing under the gospel of Jesus Christ. Come, come on. The gospel of Jesus and the remains of some, S-U-M, is repentance. Repentance. The great Billy Graham said, repent. John said, repent. Anybody go out saying repent, you know they're preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right. Come on, you don't hear a repentance holly anymore. Nobody's talking about repent. The title is always something else, but what about repent? Amen. They know the devils can't repent. Come on. Mm -hmm. So if I have a whole congregation full of demons, come on. Amen. Let Jesus come in with his sword. Let him come on in. The gates of hell should not prevail against his church. Come on, people. Mm -hmm. I, I feel the Holy Spirit and the gospel need to be preached to every nation under the sun. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the greatest of all. I don't care what men are talking about, but talk about repentance. Talk about the Holy Spirit. Have thou gained the Spirit as thou hast walked in belief? I can believe, but I'm not filled. I want to be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to speak in tongues and let me know the manifestation that I've got what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. I know when I write about it. Amen. Glory be to God. It's so good to have Jesus. Then Titus came. When he came, the grace of God, they knew the grace of God had come. The grace, the church knew the grace of God had come. You all, when you hear of the mighty, mighty works of God, that means grace has come. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When you don't hear no report, that means nothing has happened. Nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. Nothing's going to happen. But when you hear the grace of God, hallelujah, I honor those that walk in the spirit. I honor those that are talking mightily for God. I honor you, honor those that honor God. Yeah. Honor those that stand up for him. Yeah. Honor those, hallelujah. This is a different sermon right here. But God is talking to somebody out there. Honor God, honor God. Don't turn from him. Go to that man, honor him. Honor, honor, honor. Because he's a man of honor. He stand in the place of God. God is a good God. When everybody just stand up and sit back down. And that's giving honor right there to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. Ooh, grace of God and glad and escort them all. They were purpose of heart. They could, would cleave unto the Lord. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Ghost. Speaking of Stephen's. Good man. Good man. You got to be a good man first. When I mean man, not throwing off any man, but whoever in God, a good person. Amen. And a faith, he had better be a good man, Holy Ghost feel, and a faith. And much people were added to the Lord. Hallelujah. Get up and stomp your feet on that floor three times and thank God. Hallelujah. How beautiful are the feet of those that do preach the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stomp the devil away from you, away from your home, away from all around about you. Stomp the devil and tell you you don't have no place with me because I am for the Lord thy God. I am for him and him only. Hallelujah. Amen. When you go in your house, hallelujah, you're standing on holy ground, taking on home with you, hallelujah. Amen, Shane, amen, amen, amen. You shut up with me. You take authority over that demon, hallelujah. That glory be God. Ooh. Hallelujah. She stopped the then departed Pontus to Tasha, for he went to seek for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. And it came to pass with the whole year, a whole year, 
They must have had a great revival there. Mm -hmm. They assembled themselves and went with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians. That's the first time they were called Christians. Mm -hmm. First in Antioch. Just a little bit more. And in those days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yes, there stood up one of them, a God of and signified by the Spirit that there should be great earth. Prophets, I'm going to shut my book. The prophets mm. were ordained then to carry God's word. He prophesied afar, and it came to pass. When you get in the company of greatness, of greatness, and that is a height given by God, assigned to men of that height. That's why. Everybody is not a prophet. You know, so many are going out into the world saying, I am a bishop, and I am a prophet, going up into the higher, higher callings. But they are yet qualified by God. I know I'll be stoned like Stephen's. But I tell you, mouth to mouth contact with God. Yeah. <clears throat> Thus, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. And when they speak, thus said the Lord, they standing in judgment right where they are. Mm -hmm. Because the eyes of the Lord pierces upon his word. That's why the Bible says his eyes is a flame of fire. Mm -hmm. Why did he mention fire? Because he's ready to burn. I'm telling you, the man that sits on the throne, he's terrible mm -hmm. according to the word of God. He's a terrible God. Mm -hmm. That's why he sent his son, Jesus. And that is why Jesus had preached the gospel. The gospel. 24 tells a whole lot. But the gospel of Jesus Christ must be preached. And then cometh the end. The gospel of repentance. And all men will have a chance to be saved and to know about the Son of God. Yes, we got to know the Son of God, yes, Jesus. The Son. S O N. Not the S U N, but the S O N. You got to know the Son. The son, I'm going to keep saying, the son. A lot of people don't want to go with the son where well, you're going to be lost. Amen. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the truth. I love it. No man can come to the Father but by me. He can't come to God. Except you accept me, Jesus is saying. You got to realize that's what Paul, Peter, John, James, all of the apostles went out preaching about Jesus. Hallelujah. Preaching hard by the powers of God. Right. That the power come down and change their lives. Mm -hmm. The power came down. As they preached and they were baptized and the Holy Ghost by the word, by the word, by the word, by the word, by the word that they spoke, power came down upon them and they changed right. into an 
another creation. So raise your hands through God Almighty, asking God to allow his son to come always in this house, to change us, manifest us, bring us to a place where we need him every day and every hour. We will praise God, God. We will know who has sanctified us and set us aside. That the word of God may come in our lives and give us victory. I need victory, Lord, over this situation, over that situation. I need victory. Okay, God said, you want victory? I will give it to you through your trials. <laughs> I will give it to you through your tribulations. I will give it to you through your woes and your standing for me. These are the days right now. Decisions must be made. We never know when Christ's going to come back and take you out of here. So what you hear, apply. Apply it. And say, thank God I'm alive to hear. Thank God. He saved me. Thank God I'm saved. If he come back right now for me, I will be ready. Everybody can't say that. But I will. I will. I will. I tell myself all the time. I will. I will go back with him. When he called my name, when he called my eternal name, he said, I will go back with you. I will call my name and I'll be ready. Glory be to God. You make up all this time getting ready. Go. Go, 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 go on to heaven. Hallelujah. Go on. Fly away. Thou has been a good servant. Thou has done what God has told you to do. Go. Everyone tell him to go. Be at peace and rest. And let God give you your crown of life. Let God be glorified. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Born for a little while. And sent for a little while. God, save your people. Save your anointed ones. May God bless you. May you be delivered from everything that will cause you to go another way. God bless you and keep you and smile upon you. Hallelujah. Take wings and fly away. Know that you are saved. That's all that matters. May God be with you in Jesus' mighty name. Be saved. Go. When you see the sheep come down, just know God said there are souls that need to be saved. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God forever and ever. Hallelujah and amen. If there be anyone in here who'd like to turn over to the other side, let them come. Simple. I'm going to roll over to the other side. I want to see Jesus. I want to see the Lamb of God, whom Peter, Paul, and John, and Stephens, and all those that had desired him. Let them come. If any man, I give my life for an eternal life. I give my life for heaven. I give my life. Hallelujah. May God bless you. Smile. If there be anyone, you let them come and testify. And if all is saved in you, thank God for you. For one day, He's going to call your name. Just be ready. For the gospel has already been preached through Jesus and through his apostles. The 
is all you need to know. The word of God. God bless all of you. And while you are yet here and in your seat, if there be anyone to say, Lord, you changed me. You bought me a mighty long way. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I do, I do, I do, I do. I do. Oh, oh Lord. It's so touching from the heart. The word of God will make you cry. When you live it, you will cry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening and watching. May God touch your heart even as he touched mine. Thank everyone for watching this holy program from this holy place. Today we have truly seen the power of God. There's been, I, I beheld his deliverance power. His voice was so clear in the sermon that she spoke. You could hear him, you could feel him coming through. And I pray that someone testifies of the works of God from this because it was present, it was so present. He's so here, he's coming through. He's coming through. The veil has been ripped, he's coming through. She's bringing him through. She's presenting the man behind the veil that was hidden before, that's open now because of the cross, because of his blood. She's made, she's made him known. The true power came through. I saw it today. I saw, I saw, I beheld deliverance power. Souls being set free. Healing virtue coming through, coming through out of God's body. He came through today. And I pray that you are, that watch through YouTube can testify of that. I pray that the same power that was in here goes out to you. That you bear witness. Keep watching. One day soon she will be in your midst. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Um, I just wanted to speak a little bit of, I, I received a word before uh, the service, uh, the word came forth uh, with Evangelist Patricia Turner. I heard the word revival, and I saw revival. And at that time that I saw a revival and I heard the word revival, I saw a tent, the top of a tent, and it was white. It was like on, on the inside though, mm -hmm. looking up. And um, as I saw that, and then as Evangelist Patricia Turner came forth with the word of God, I heard revival again, and it felt like a revival and everybody was having a revival. And she, as she spoke, as the Lord spoke through her, mm -hmm. He said that the revival would be inside of you. It doesn't. It, it's not just like this. But it's coming in from inside of you. Mm -hmm. And as she began to speak, and the more that she spoke, it was like a spirit of old. And I, I felt Billy Graham, mm -hmm. and I heard Billy Graham, and I heard the word that I, I can't explain it, but the way that it came out and came forth. Mm -hmm. It was a spirit of all, it was a spirit of Billy Graham. And I'm so thankful for this ministry. I'm so yeah. thankful for the uplifting. Yes. With the, we come in with a heavy heart and the Lord just uplifted us today. And it was like a revival yeah. inside of us. It was a real revival. Yeah. So I'm really thankful. And I'm thankful for Evangelist Trish Turner. I'm thankful for this ministry. Yeah. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah.